did I want to say to you? Pokemon, Pokemon. Exactly. Hey guys, it's Sabrina. Today's episode brought to you by homosexual orangutan use. Buy yours today. What? That's not in the digestive system. We're talking about the digestive system? Hi, Ted. What? What is this? Smaller particles without changing their chemical composition. So what's that do? You mean this? This takes food and breaks it down into simpler molecules using enzymes. Oh. Where does it all begin? Hi, Mom. Well, you see, kids, it starts right here. Oh, yeah in the mouth, which mechanically begins breaking down particles into smaller pieces, and then begins the chemical digestion of carbohydrates. So there we go. Secrete saliva, that contains enzymes that initiates the breakdown of carbohydrates. Hey, Tom! What's that? One kind of here, and here, and here, and here. Oh, that's just Andrews. She splits polysaccharides and disaccharides. You know, in her free time. Where does she use? Saliva! Turns polysaccharides into disaccharides. Helping the food go down the pharynx. You know, by moistening it. The pharynx? What is that thing? The pharynx acts as a passageway for the food on its way down to the stomach. I like Pocky. What about the epiglottis? Oh One food. Is, the epiglottis looks as long as the food or drink be transmitted to the stomach. Today in China, a swallowing dragon stole the senator's Eskimo right out of his hands. What a crazy thing. What about the punching bag? That's a good question, Piggy. I'm going to tell you right now the uvula, aka punching bag. What's that while swallowing? So that you don't have any food or drink all up in your nose, Cathy, yo. Please stop it. What does it do? Well, the lower esophageal sphincter, it keeps the food in your tummy. It closes it off. So then your food doesn't regurgitate up to your esophagus and out of your mouth. Just like puke. That's kind of gross. But it also lets the food enter your tummy so it can do all that yummy digestive, digestive stuff. Speaking of the stomach, what does it do? Well, the stomach, it receives food from your esophagus. It also mixes the food in your tummy with the gastric juice. And not only does it do that, it starts the initial protein digestion. And it also carries on limited absorption. What does it absorb? Well, it absorbs water, certain salt, alcohol, and lipid soluble drugs. This is my fish. But after doing all that hard work, it pushes all of your food into your small intestine. How you must ask another sphincter. 
And what speaker is that? It's the Pylon speaker! Well, what does it do? It controls the gas from empty into the duodenum. Yay! What's next? Gastric juice is what's next. Yum! Well, what is the gastric juice made of? You want to know? You really want to know? It's made of this cat! Just kidding! It's made of mucus, HCL, digestive enzymes, and what is its function? To start the digestive protein system stuff. So, um, ew. You may or may not be wondering, probably not wondering, what HCL, pepsinogen, and pepsin is made of. Well, I'm gonna tell you either way. Let's start with pepsinogen. Okay, the pepsinogen contacts the HCL acid, and then the HCL acid makes the pepsinogen rapidly form down into pepsin. Pepsinogen plus HCL equals pepsin. So what does HCL do? It helps pepsinogen break down into pepsin. So, I've been saying the word pepsin a lot. We all know what it does. You're probably wondering what it does, aren't you? I'm gonna tell you. You really wanna know what pepsin does? It breaks down your proteins. Now last, maybe even least, chyme. Chyme is semi-fluid particles of food plus gastric juice. That's chyme. I'm here to talk to you about the digestive system. Well, part of it. My other friends, they'll tell you this. Bam! Small intestine. What is that, yes? Well, let me tell you. In my notes. Hmm. It receives secretions from the pancreas and the liver. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's the body. And it completes the digestion of nutrients and chyme, absorbs products of that digestion, and transports the residues of the large intestine. Oh, I almost forgot. The, digest the small intestine is separated into one into three parts. Not one, not two, but three. Well, hey, guess what? We're to the pancreas right now. This organ is attached to the first part of the small intestine, and it's an endocrine gland. But it secretes a digestive fluid called, bet you can guess it. Just take a guess. Just take it. Take, okay, okay, I'll tell you. It's pancreatic juice. You look like pancreatic juice. You look like the enzyme that breaks down carbs, fats, protein. And click acid. Mm hmm. You look like pancreatic amylase. You look like digested carbs and split polysaccharides. Now you're a disaccharide. Classic. You look like that fat digesting enzyme lipase. You've been looking good. You look like that protein split proteolytic enzyme. You look like those split protein peptide bonds. You. Yes, you. You look like nucleus breaking down nucleic acid into nucleotides. Anyways, continuing with the all-exclusive digestive system, we're now at the liver. And the liver has many functions and little itty-bitty pieces, but I'm just going to tell you right now, it makes bile. Okay, okay, now. Bile secretion is important to digestion, and so are the bile salts. And bile salts are the most abundant and the only thing in bile that has any digestive function.
emulsification. Breaks down fat globules into smaller droplets. Go blood! Contracts to release bile into the small intestine. Want to know the main function of these? Okay, here you go. They break down food molecules just, 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 get it in your head, just before absorption takes place. Peptidases. They split peptides into the constituent of amino acids. Here are some more digested enzymes. Sucrose, maltose, and lactose. They split the disaccharides into monosaccharides. Fructose, glucose and galactose. And the last of the small intestine digested enzymes is intestinal lipase, which splits fatty molecules into fatty acids and glycerol. Crystallis. I'm going to read you the definition I found of it, because if I, if I say it in my wonderful vocabulary and like my awesomely intelligent way of saying things, you won't understand it. You'll be like, what did she just say? She's so smart. I know. I know. I'm just that good. So I'm going to read you this definition. Prostalysis is a series of organized muscle contractions that occur throughout the digestive tract. Prostalysis is also seen in the tubular organs that connect the kidneys to the blood. It is also an automatic, important process that moves food along the digestive system. It also moves urine to the it also moves urine from the kidneys into the bladder and bile from the gallbladder into the duodenum. Interesting. It is a normal function of the body. And most of all, you can feel it happening when, you know, that awful smell that usually comes with it, gas, moves along the, through the body. You know, it's a normal daily process. The elicule valve keeps things from going up the ilium. The large intestine, which is only bigger in diameter, not length. While the large intestine absorbs water. Electrolytes from cod remaining in the alimentary canal, and it also stores and forms species. The cecum is a slightly dilated patch like structure that hangs a little bit below the ileum lingual opening. Yeah. Ascending colon begins at the cecum and goes upwards towards the abdominal way to a point. Inferior so the transverse colon, which is the longest and most movable, is connected to the descending colon, which is the third part of the segment, which is connected to the sigmoid colon, which is the last part of the colon, and is connected to the rectum. Get out of here, you know. Now that she's gone. Rectum and anal canal, last two parts of the large intestine. 75% water. Colors vary from black to white. Materials that were digested. Well, please, I have a lot of blood. My name is Carl, and I'm a fudge-sick-a-mother-plucker. 